So we are at Maker Depot Academy and we have a 3D printing space, a wood shop, a metal shop here. Currently, because of the COVID situation, we are running printing procedures here in order to print masks, 3D masks or ventilators, so that we can account for the shortage, the shortage that the hospitals are facing. So 3D printing is a process in which you build parts or things one layer at a time. And you use a biodegradable plastic called PLA. And what it does is it goes into a heating element called the extruder, where it heats the material and it melts it. And the moment it comes in touch with the atmosphere, it turns into a solid. And that it does for layers. And it stacks up everything with super high precision. So that's why you can get into any level of uh, resolution you want to get into or make anything you want with it. Some masks might need a higher level of filtration or porosity, so you can have the N95 paper embedded in it and then you can wear it. But these things are something you can never fall short of because if you have a printer and a machine that's just continuously printing masks, I think you can just overcome it with like probably in a day or two if you have like 100 printers just making masks I think the whole nation can be covered. I believe it does have a real application I believe it can help um, everyone should be doing the best that they can whether or not it is uh, going to be accepted uh, we'll leave that up to the community we'll leave that up to professionals but we're trying to do our part it gives us a way of exercising our mind and helping people. Since the outbreak, it's been crazy for everyone. And it's not getting better. And what if there was a way you can make it better and still be able to live the same life you were living before? It's a human responsibility that you are accountable for doing something or making a change. And that's why I want 3D printing to be there. So if you can have a chance to make a difference, why are you waiting?